Good morning guys! Today I thought I would vlog because I've got a really exciting day coming up. I booked this like, god how long ago? Six months at least. I'm going to see Taylor! Um, Taylor Swift is playing at Wembley and I'm going to see it with my friend Lucy and her sister and I'm very very excited but before then I've got a day at home with little one. Um, I'm like half ready, I've still got wet hair and I'm in my um, dressing gown because I was hoping to get ready before she woke up but she woke up. So I'm just making her breakfast. This morning, Little River's got some baby rice. She started eating solids, by the way, in case you're wondering. She just doesn't just have milk anymore, which is very exciting. Some baby rice. I've got this little thing with a strawberry in it. If you, I, I feel like if you've got a baby, get one of these. They're really good. She loves it. You like squish fruit into it and then they just chew on it and it keeps her busy for ages. She absolutely loves it. She normally has banana though, so... Um, yeah, we'll see how she likes strawberry. She's getting impatient now. <laughs> you get excited for your breakfast, Bugsy. In case you're wondering, it didn't take Treacle very long to work out where the food comes from <laughs> and gets dropped from. Hey, Treak. She's been clearing up the baby rice, which on a side note, there's this wipe in there as well, but she's done pretty well with that. This was my breakfast, which actually looks like a baby breakfast. This is the collective coconut pro-yo yogurt but yeah that was me she ate pretty much all of it hungry baby so i thought i would show you little one's outfit before i get her dressed for the day i actually popped into Bissa village yesterday and i got this for her from paul smith and i just thought it was the cutest thing because i call her my little bug as you guys know i also call her my little lady and it's got little ladybugs on it sounds like she likes it okay so i've been very very poor at vlogging today and I have not vlogged and it's now lunchtime. Um, basically, I got little one to sleep. She's grinning at me from the other side of the camera. I got little one to sleep um, and then I wrote my last ever blog post today for my my first year's six month like baby uh, experience. I guess like I basically wrote a blog post a month for them for the first six months of being a mum. So that will probably go up in the next few days but it's quite emotional writing it because I feel like I just don't know where the time's gone I honestly don't um if you haven't read any of them and you want to then they're over on the my first year's blog um yeah and I've really enjoyed kind of like writing about like my feelings being wrong anyway so this afternoon little one's just had her lunch she's now spectating from the other side of the camera but this afternoon I'm making some baby food um, to freeze and put in the freezer for her. Um, her baby rice is here as well, that's where I keep her rice and her um, milk powder. I have done some of this before actually and I have frozen it but I'm about to run out so I'm doing a whole lot more. The light's really annoying, sorry guys, it's super sunny. I've got some sweet potatoes, quite a lot because they're her favourite, absolute favourite food. Um, I've got some carrot which she loves, I don't love because it stains everything, super annoying but she likes it. Um, some apples, I've got a butternut squash which she, haven't, she hasn't had any butternut squash before so I think she'll like it though because she likes sweet potato and carrot and it's that kind of like sweet veg. And then some blueberries which which again she hasn't had before, some leek and some avocado. So I'm gonna um, blend all these up. I basically steam them, blend them, and then put them in the freezer. But I'm using this little thing, which Mike actually got as a Christmas present from my mum. It's a Biaba baby cook. It's basically a steamer and a blender in one. You definitely don't need this. Like if you have a pan or a steamer and a blender, you do not need it, but it's actually really good because you basically um, put your veggies in here, pour some water in there, it steams it and then you take the veggies out, pour them in there with a little bit of water and blend it. So it's like two in one, really, really easy. Apples first, I just tried it, it actually tastes really good. Cooling it off um, in some ice and gonna portion it up and then I've just been chopping. <laughs> chopping everything. This is the current situation. I'm using a combination of these little pots. I've only got a few of these because I haven't used them before, I'm gonna test them out. Using those and I've got these little um, refillable bags that are like the Ella's Kitchen ones but DIY so they've just come out of the sterilizer and then I'm also using a load of leftover breast milk storage bags because I have so many of these from when I was breastfeeding that I didn't use so I'm just um, filling them up with like individual portions so they're easy to kind of defreeze and just put in her bowl to feed her so 
Yes, she's just woken up and wants some milk, but we're getting there. We've done the apple, the avocado, the blueberry. I put a bit of banana in there as well because it was very, very runny. The leek is cooling down and the carrot is cooking and then the butternut squash and the sweet potato are still to go. It would have been a bit more organised than I am, but... <laughs> It's my first time doing like a massive batch. The freezer is now full of baby food and on a side note, I literally just had to seriously shift one to get all of that done. It is 10 past four um, and my sister-in-law is coming over to look after little one because Mike's not back till six and I'm obviously off to see Taylor. Uh, very, very excited about that. On a side note, I'm definitely going to be buying ice cube trays for the next time that I do baby food because... They didn't sell them in my supermarket and I was like, fine, I'm just going to use the stuff that I have already because I got sent um, a couple of those like bits and bobs of storage stuff. I was like, I'll just use them and see how I go on. Ice cube trays would definitely be easier. Um, so yeah, note for next time. But um, the freezer is now full of baby food, all good. Now I'm just waiting for my sister and I might do a little outfit of the day actually before she gets here. Actually, that's a lie because i got to feed the dogs. Come on, guys. Snack time. Piggy. It's snack time. I mean, my necklace is backwards, which is not a great start, is it? I don't have anyone here to help me show you my outfit. Um, so here it is. <laughs> Bear with me. I've got on my rails, like, jacket, shirt jacket. It's actually really hot. I definitely don't need this. Um, my necklace is from Edge of Ember. Love it. Um, usual jewellery. And then my dress is, like, a little wrap dress from All Saints really really like it and then i'm also wearing these which i actually got sent from urban decay this week i really like them they're adidas gazelles in nude they're like the same color as my jacket as you can see i told you i didn't have a good way to show you and look at this massive bruise i have on my shin this is from walking into a camp bed when i was on holiday <laughs> great i haven't used this bag in absolutely ages but i thought it would look nice with a like pink and like maroony color together that is what I'm wearing. Let's go and see Taylor. <laughs> Feeling just a little bit flustered today, in case you hadn't noticed. I'm now on the road, guys, but as you can see, we're at a standstill on the M1. I'm hoping that this is just like rush hour. I'm actually not even moving, like I have my parking brake on, in case anyone wants to tell me how to drive. Um, yeah, please don't be a crash or something. I really want to see Taylor Swift. Someone just went speeding down the hot shoulder and it wasn't a police car. I know, and now there's a police car. No. Oh, damn it. I just got this message from Lucy here I'm going to the concert with tonight. No. No. The worst part is as well, I actually have their tickets because the tickets all got sent to me and now I'm really worried that I'm not gonna be there. I'm not gonna make it to start off with, but that they won't be able to go in and that will just suck. Uh, I'm hoping it's not too serious an accident and they can kind of get the road open again soon but I had, I feel like I've got about an hour leeway because hour and a half leeway maybe. Rubbish. Just kidding guys, it wasn't actually an accident, it was like some weird police raid. I've made it to Watford, um, I've come to Watford to get the train to Wembley because there's no point in me driving to Wembley because it's really hard to park. Um, and there's no point in me driving into London and then going back up out to Wembley. So I've come to Watford. I don't know where I'm going, so I better actually go. <laughs> made it Wembley with Kaylee and Lucy who in case you're wondering they're sisters that's why they look and sound identical but I'm so excited they've just given us the wristbands the same wristbands that we had at what was it what was it called 1975 no, 1975. <laughs> not the 1975 we didn't go and see them um at the Hyde Park gates the last time 1989 I mean there's so many so I'm guessing Lucy knows where she's going because I definitely don't. We're a little bit late. This is ridiculously big. I've only ever come and sat like down there. I don't think you even notice how high we are.
guys are in the madness of leaving Wembley. This is my least favourite thing about going to a concert. But she was amazing, it was so good. I have just told the girls they have to tell us a highlight and they're like, oh no! My highlight, I'm gonna go first, was the um, like the compilation of the old songs. Oh, and when she did Shake It Off with all the confetti. Yes, the highlight was Shake It Off as well, but also Blank Space because that's one of my favourite songs. It was good, that was good, that was a good moment. <laughs> Kaylee, we're going through all the towns. Always, always the oldies. Always. Oh my god, we've been so busy. Fake t shirts, anyone? They look like the real ones. They look like the real ones. Naughty. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> real signatures going over here, guys. Good morning, guys. It's the next day now. Um, I got back so late last night that I didn't vlog. Um, and I'm now back in the kitchen doing breakfast time again. I think I just zoomed in on my face. That was unintentional. Let's zoom back out. Um, yeah, doing breakfast time again. Little one had some of her blueberries with her porridge and loved them. Although they're very messy, aren't they? And you don't like having your face wiped. She literally had blue all over her face. <laughs> you messy pup. Yes. She's very grumpy now because I wiped her face and she got very upset about it. Um, but yeah, sunny weekend. Just going to spend the weekend with Mike chilling out really. And that's going to be the end of the vlog. See you guys soon. Bye.